Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo and think personal branding. Now, I request you before you jump into conclusions, before you assume things, before you get into a panic mode, I request you, there's no need to panic. Please listen again. There is no need to panic. I don't want you to believe everything that I say. Listen, just listen to what I have to say first. Watch the stuff that I'm showing you. I will show the images. Evaluate the information I'm giving you and then have a educated, um, make an educated uh, decision, okay? Uh, but please, the purpose of this video is not, I'm repeating, it's not to cause chaos. It's not to panic. Uh, I'm not putting this video just to get views. I'm sharing this information based on what I received based on, I did my own research. After people give me information, I do my own research. I study things. I keep data on Excel sheets just to see how the numbers are spiking, okay? So before you do jump the gun and start um, sending WhatsApp messages like mad and scaring other people and uh, not verifying any information, please, I request you, watch this video carefully. Only then, only then make an informed judgment, okay? Once again, I'm telling you, you don't have to believe a word I'm saying, which I always say, don't believe a word I'm saying, do your own research, do your own homework. And if in case you agree with what I'm saying, that UAE is moving towards a lockdown, I'm requesting you again, please do not uh, spread panic. Please do not start rushing to the supermarket and buying six, seven shopping carts of uh, items of food. Don't start panic buying. Don't start driving like mad. Don't start pushing other people. There is no need to panic. Okay. There's no need because supermarkets will be there. Uh, produce will be there. Stuff will be there. If China could survive, any other country can survive. So please watch this video first. I'm requesting watch this video first. Listen to what I have to say and then make an informed decision in a cool mind. Cool mind, okay? Now, first and foremost, I spoke to a couple of people who I genuinely trust. I have received uh, messages that Dubai is going to go on a shutdown, lockdown. Um, you're going to be, they're going to bring in the military. They're going to lock people in their houses. Listen, those are just rumors floating around. Nobody knows for sure, okay? The government is meeting under closed doors under the most strict guidelines where nobody knows, nobody knows what the decision is going to be. So currently there are rumors floating around that the military is going to step in and they're going to ensure a lockdown. Now, if the military does do that, listen first, if the military does do that, they would make sure that people can still go and purchase things. They can still buy what is necessary. They will make sure that the entire country has whatever it needs to run smoothly. The only reason why the military would come or the only reason why the country would shut down, only reason if, is just to avoid gatherings, is just to ensure people don't go out. People don't go out unless otherwise required. Now, I will read out, I'll read out my research. I will also share the links in the description. Go to the links, do the research. Okay. Now, first I'll read out the contents of what is important because there are a lot of websites. There's too much information. Now, um, the websites, uh, links are put down below, the various websites, so go through all of them. Now, this is the data that I've compiled. You can tell me if I'm wrong, okay? First, November 17, 2019 was the first case of coronavirus. That is November 17, okay? I'm giving you how did I come to this conclusion that UAE, is, that UAE and the Middle East is going to go to a shutdown. So after November 19, the first guy was a 55-year-old guy from China. Okay, the first person. Uh, this was reported by South Morning China Post. Then 
uh, December 15th, in and around nearly a month, the infections from one person reached 27. Okay. And from then on, every single day, a new case came in. Every single day. That means after a month, there were 27 increased cases and now it started multiplying. On 27, this guy, his name is Dr. Jean Jixan, okay, head of respiratory department in Hubei Province Hospital. This is Wuhan. He said that this is um, this is some kind of new virus. They didn't have a name until then. And by the time it had infected 180 individuals, okay. December 31st, that is from November uh, 17th to December 31st, China alerted the WHO and said, we have an unusual pneumonia happening in Wuhan, a port city of 11 million people. The virus was still unknown. Okay. January 1st was when China decided to shut down that Wuhan seafood wholesale market where, you know, these videos where you can see the rats and dogs and animals. And the primary reason for the virus is when you have animals, like you can watch Joe Rogan's podcast, when you have a bird and when you have snakes and all in cages and they're all shitting on top of each other and breathing the air where they are sick. The virus travels, which is not supposed to. And then you have a human being standing there interacting with someone else and cutting and chopping animals, which are, you know, killed. So the virus spreads because obviously the temperature is you know, warm, it's moist, there's humidity. So it supports, you know, all these bacteria, um, virus. It's, it's not a very healthy atmosphere. Okay. Then January 1st, they shut down the Wuhan market, uh, Hanan Seafood Wholesale Market. January 7th, that is after seven days, uh, officials in WHO identified that this was a new virus, a totally new one after seven days. They decided to call it um, 219 NCOV. Okay. So then it started to spread on January 11th, China announced its first uh, death officially. Okay, from a man, a uh, 61 year old who had purchased goods from the seafood market. January 13th, uh, the WHO reported the first case in Thailand. From China, now it has come to Thailand. January 16th, Japan uh, reported the first case. Now, from China, it's going to Thailand, it has gone to Japan. January 17th, the second death was reported, and this time, U.S. started uh, announced that they would screen all the airports. There were only three airports. However, after a few days, authorities in the United States, Nepal, France, Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, South Korea, Vietnam, Taiwan, they all confirmed a case. All of them. Then Asian countries ramped up pre uh, pressure to block the spread of virus by introducing mandatory screening at the airports. Okay, especially for people arriving from China. January 22nd, the death toll jumped to 17 with 550 infections. And that is why European airports started to um, have checks from flights from Wuhan, especially China. Then Wuhan was placed under quarantine on the following day, January 25th. Now you can see how it's building up. January 25th was where travel restrictions were imposed in five cities in China. Total number of people infected were 56 million. This is where they started to make a total lockdown or shutdown. Hong Kong declared the virus an emergency then. This is on, see, uh, November, December, January, after three months. January 26th, death toll uh, rises up to 56, 2,000 cases. Hong Kong closes Disneyland and Ocean Park. New cases are now confirmed in US, Taiwan, Thailand, Japan, and South Korea. New cases. End of January, January 30th, the WHO declares coronavirus as a global emergency, till now not a pandemic. Death toll in China jumps to 170, 7,711 cases reported, and the virus has spread to all 31 provinces in China. India and Philippines now confirm their first case with each country having one person infected. January 31st, number of cases jumps to 9,800 in China. This is where Russia, Spain, Sweden, and United Kingdom confirmed their first case. Now, see, it is spreading. February 1st, now November, December, January. Now it has come to the fourth month. February, they have new cases in Australia, Canada, Germany, Japan, Singapore, US, UAE, and Vietnam. This was in February. 
February 2nd, the first death out of China is reported. A man from Wuhan who died in Philippines. Uh, February 5th, uh, US evacuates citizens from Wuhan and WHO reaffirms there is no known treatment. Now that is where the panic starts. February 6th, death toll increases to 563, more than 28,000 cases confirmed. And this is where Malaysia confirms that the virus can travel human to human. Feb 7th, Li Wen Lang, a doctor who was the first to sound the alarm of the coronavirus. So he died. Because he died, now people were angry. Hong Kong became introduced prison sentences for anyone who breaches the quarantine rule. See, now countries are... See the pattern. You can see the pattern. February 8th, a US citizen died in Wuhan. February 9th, China surpassed more than uh, surpassed more deaths than the SARS epidemic with 811 deaths recorded and 37,198 infections. February 10th, China had 908 confirmed deaths, 40,000 infections just in one day. It's increasing. Uh, making 97 deaths the deadliest day of the outbreak. That this is in China. And that is where President Xi Jinping, he appeared in the public for the first time since the disease got, you know, broke out. And he urged confidence and urged support as a leader. February 12th, 175 people infected on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship docked in Yokohama in Japan. Okay. Uh, dead toll in China has gone to 1,113. 44,658 infections. Feb 13th, North Korea imposes a month-long quarantine. Now, see, imagine. Now another country is taking the quarantine. Okay, complete. Everything shut down. Um, then Japan confirms its first death from the virus. Feb 14th, Egypt becomes the first country in Africa to report the case. France reported the first ever European death. Feb 15th, the death toll goes to 1,500, 66,492 infections. U.S. prepares to evacuate all its citizens from a cruise ship. Okay, the same one, the one in Japan. Feb 16th, Taiwan records its first death of a taxi driver. Japan in, confirms 99 new cases on board that same cruise ship. And that is why they say, don't go to cruise ships. Don't go to an environment where people are closed. Okay, Feb 18th, China's daily infection for the first time, positive news, China's daily infection drops below 2,000. Now, why did it drop? Why am I saying that this quarantine may take place? Is because only because of the quarantine, only because people were controlled and everything was kept clean, um, the figures started to drop below 2,000 for the first time. Feb 20th, Russia said it would ban entry of Chinese citizens. Um, then Ethiopia stepped up the measures. Feb 20th, South Korea reported the first death. Feb 21st, Israel confirmed the first case. Uh, she returned from a cruise ship. Feb 23rd, countries closed the borders with Iran because infection was growing in Iran. Uh, just see, it's spreading everywhere. Feb 24th, Kuwait, Bahrain, Iraq, Afghanistan, Oman, all report their first case. Feb 25th, Iran's deputy, um, that health minister, you know, that infamous video where he was laughing and taking interviews and laughing about the disease saying that oh, I should have coughed like this. He gets sick. Okay. But it's a good thing that they are being transparent. Feb 27, uh, 26, the global toll reaches 2,800, 80,000 confirmed cases globally. And this is where Norway, Romania, Greece, Georgia, Pakistan, North Macedonia and Brazil all admit to their first case of coronavirus. Feb 27th, Estonia, Denmark, Northern Ireland, Netherlands report their first cases. Feb 28th, Lithuania, Wales report their first case. And uh, Netherlands and Georgia report their second. And that is why Qatar reports its first uh, case in the country. March 2nd, Saudi Arabia reports its first corona case. Uh, now, yeah, March 8th, Saudi locks down the region, okay, uh, down the eastern Khatif region, okay, to maintain the spread of the virus. And you remember those videos that were circulating of cleaning the mosque, the Mecca. All right. March 9th, Iran releases 70,000 prisoners after the corona uh, outbreak. 70,000, just imagine, because you know they can't keep them there and get everyone infected. March 10th, 
Lebanon, Morocco report their first death. Republic of Congo, Panama, Mongolia report their first infection. March 11th, WHO declares that this virus is a pandemic. That means it's global now. Turkey, Ivory Coast, Honduras, Bolivia reports their first case. Qatar, infections jump from 24 to 262 in a single day. Okay. March 15th, Spain reports 2,000 corona cases uh, over 24 hours with 100 deaths in 24 hours. Spain, Kazakhstan, Philippines, Australia announced tightened restrictions uh, to control the bid. Now, as of now, as of now, and I make the video, when I check the stats, 5,000 people have died and 145,000 have been infected worldwide. Now, this is, if you look at it from a very large perspective, in a population of 7 billion people, it's only 145,000. Now, that is what I'm telling you. You don't have to panic, but at the same time, please be clean, be safe, and think with a cool mind. Now, I'll give you the countries that are locked down. Right now, China, Italy, El Salvador, Denmark, Ireland, Poland, New Zealand, Saudi. Okay? Now, what do I mean by lockdown? Lockdown is a uh, is, isn't a technical term, as per what it says here, isn't a technical term used by public health officials. It can refer to mandatory geography quarantines, non-mandatory recommendations, stay-at-home, closures of certain types of business, bans on events, gatherings. This definition is as per Lindsay Wiley, a health law professor in Washington College in Law, okay, uh, as reported by Vox. Now, why do I say that UAE is moving towards a lockdown? Not only because I spoke to certain people who are working, I would say, either working or related to people in the government. Okay, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Shisha is banned. Okay. Uh, churches have received a circular. Mosques have received a circular. Schools have been asked to shut down. Uh, I've even, I will show you some of the circulars. Swimming pools have been, they are not allowing people to come in swimming pools. They're not allowing people to go to gyms. They're not uh, allowing any public events. They're not allowing any public gatherings. In fact, anywhere you gather, immediately you have someone of authority coming and asking, what are you doing? Okay. So what did I receive? This one, see, I'm sure you must have received some of this. A Dubai company warning employees not to hug each other due to coronavirus. I'll share with you the image. Another one is remote working guidelines, which was sent to people in UAE. Nakil, I got this circular that was sent as a screenshot 15th of March 2020, asking its residents um, to you know stay the temporary closure of common amenities, which is good, which is good. I'm telling you, it's it's not me bitching about or it's not me making fun. Another one is temporary closure of Farah experiences Abu Dhabi sites. Okay. I did get this from one of my friends who stays in Spinney's Springs area. People are just buying and hoarding. I have seen some videos where people are shopping like mad in Nulu and all that. There's a government of uh, Department of Economic Development where it says closure uh, of cinema halls. I received this one where in Sports City, now they have con cornered off those areas. You're not allowed to go there. I also got three videos of Dubai Airport. Hi there. It's a Monday afternoon. Just landed from Dallas to Dubai. And it's so silent. Unbelievable. No traffic. The passengers in the flight was thin. And now the airport seems to be deafening. Silence. Interesting. All due to coronavirus. Man, a lot has changed in one week. يرجى من حضرات ركاب طائرة طيران الإمارات رحلة رقم واحد اثنان ثلاثة. Now, please, uh, I'm requesting you once again, don't panic. There is enough food. There is enough stuff. It's not like after they they declare that there's a lockdown, which I'm not saying they, they will. Okay, this is more or less like a lockdown. It's not like stay in the house and don't come out or we'll shoot you. No, 
if there is a lockdown, that means you can't go out for leisure activities, you can't go out for fun. They're doing this to protect you, okay? So that doesn't mean you can't go shopping. That doesn't mean you stack up all the food, canned food, tinned food, and you're just giving the supermarkets business. If you feel scared, I spoke to a couple of people who are, you know, experts. They said, if you are so worried, if you're really scared, just buy enough for, let's say, three days or a week, like a normal monthly shopping. Buy some canned food, buy some noodles, buy stuff that will not spoil. Okay. But please don't go around buying those toilet rolls and don't buy stuff you do not need. Buy stuff that you can use. Okay. If you're so scared, if you're so scared. Restaurants may be asked to shut down. Coffee shops will be asked to shut down. Cinema halls are anywhere where people can gather. But deliveries will be there. Okay. Food deliveries will be there. So there will be stuff available. Don't hold. Don't go driving. And please don't drive like mad under stress. Put some nice music. Relax. See, spend some time with your family. Okay. This, it's not the end of the world. It's not uh, like, you know, gloom and doom. Like uh, you go out, uh, you know, some of these horror movies, you go out and there is that smell or that color or something black. Uh, it's like an aliens movie. No, you can still go. Everything is normal. Just that the market will suffer. The economy will suffer because they want to, you know, ensure that everyone is kept healthy. Okay. So if you're so scared, buy some basic stuff like a few, few tins and noodles. Just relax. The grocery shop will be there. It will be open. Below your building, I'm sure all buildings have a grocery shop. So buy a few things if you're so scared. You don't have to. And please, one of them even sent me that people are going like mad to ATMs. You don't have to withdraw money from ATMs. The money is kept there. If you are in India or Africa, I would say, oh, fucking shit. Panic. UAE, under the leadership of Sheikh Mohammed, they didn't freeze people's money during the war, during the Gulf War, if you read his, his book. Okay? He, they'll not do it now. Nothing is going to happen. Please. The only reason I'm sharing this with you is there are rumors floating around that there's going to be a lockdown. So don't panic and don't buy unnecessary stuff like booze and alcohol and cigarettes. Okay? Just buy stuff that you may require. And buy and keep like enough for a week. Let's say for two, three people, enough for a week. That, that's enough. You, you nothing is bad is going to happen. And but I request you stop forwarding uh, stuff. Like I have these groups. They are forwarding stuff, and people will get dead scared. Shit, people are going to die, and you need to gather guys. Stop spreading fear. If there is a lockdown, the point I'm trying to tell you again: if there is a lockdown, just Google search right now. Google search in Italy. People can still go shopping. Google search Australia and you'll see those mad idiots buying toilet paper when it's still there. Even though there's a lockdown in Australia, even though there's a lockdown in Iran, even though there's a lockdown in Italy, even though there's lockdown in all those countries which I mentioned in Saudi, you can still get stuff. The, you know, the world has to function. Life has to go on. So please, I'm just sharing with you that there is a rumor, there's a possibility that there will be a shutdown with the military coming in with guns, just making sure, you know, discipline. Just make sure that you don't panic. You don't go berserk. You don't go crazy. Life will go on normal. They'll have a holiday and they're doing step by step. Just take it easy. If you really want to buy stuff, buy stuff that you need. Just a few canned items here and there. Don't go around buying the whole fucking supermarket and converting your bedroom into a storehouse. It's not the end of the world. There's no nuclear bomb or anything like that. So take it easy. Okay. If you don't want to believe a word I say, fine. I'll put down some links below. Go check that out. Okay. Don't believe a word I'm saying. Just don't believe a word I'm saying. Do your own research. But if you do believe, if you do believe what I'm saying, just share this video with somebody that you know. Tell them this is just for awareness. Send it via WhatsApp. Don't share it via Facebook or Twitter, please. Because anyone can complain that you're, you know, spreading false information. And why do you want to talk? Okay. Just send it via WhatsApp or speak to them and say, just go buy some stuff you may need if in case there is, you know, quarantine measures in place. Use your words carefully. Okay. So this is what I wanted to share with you. And I can tell you that things are going normal because I've spoken to my friends who are working for the government. They are worried. They are genuinely worried. They want the well-being of their citizens and the people. They are not going to 
lock you in the house. They're not going to throw you out. They're not going to destroy your lives. So I hope this video added some value. I wanted to address the lockdown issue in UAE. So please share this video privately. Privately. Once again, I'm telling you privately to the people you know. Keep one week worth of stuff if you're scared. And just keep yourself healthy. Relax. It's time to stay at home. Be with the family. Watch a movie. Relax yourself. It's not the end of the world. Okay? I hope we create awareness. And remember, in a population of 7 billion, 5,000 people have died. Only five. Okay? The people who have got sick have got well. The people who got sick have got well. So there is hope. It's not, you get sick, you're going to die. More people die. Once again, I'm telling you, more people die due to accidents. More people. I have this video, which I'll share with you. Uh, the lady died uh, yesterday in a road accident when a car just smashed into her. The guy was drunk. She didn't die due to the virus. So even if she put a mask, what's the use? I see people not wearing helmets. I see people not putting their seat belts. In fact, you will die due to stress. You will die if your finances are not in place. You will die if you don't have a job. You will die if you have stress related to heart, blood sugar. You eat chocolate, you smoke and drink. You will die because of that. Like one guy said, people die more due to, you know, unsafe sex rather than this one. So more people die due to not having a job. More people die because of stress due to work than this disease. But it's always good to be cautious. So this is what I have to share with you. Please take it easy. This will pass and we will all be okay. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you do want to support the channel, put a little bit of like. Nobody can find out who liked my video. If you want to share this, share it with people that you know. Once again, don't put it on Facebook. Don't put it on Twitter. Okay? Let me know your thoughts. And if you have any information that you want to share with me, share it. I will share it with other people. This is me signing off and giving you the updates as I receive them. My details are put down below. Take care.